Hi guys, welcome back to Spill the Taste. So I hope you're all enjoying the 90 days fiance before the 90 days. Oh my gosh, this has been so exciting. I really, really enjoyed it. So we have Amanda and Razvan. Oh my god, these two, I don't know what it is, but I kind of like these two. She is a widow, mother of two, and never thought she'd find love again after losing her husband to a sudden battle with cancer. But it all changed when she started chatting online with Razvan, a Romanian social media star and actor. Razvan helped pull her out of her grief as she fell in love with his warm and sense of humour. So after four months of online dating, Amanda flew to Romania to meet him for the first time in person. But is she really ready to open herself up to a new relationship? And do you think Razvan is prepared for life with two young children? Or will jealousy over Razvan's career come between them? It's a bit of a tricky one, but I'm really looking forward for these two and I am rooting for them. So let's see what happens next. So up next we've got Riley from Pennsylvania and Violet from Vietnam. Riley is a military vet, jazz lover. He has been scarred by betrayal in his past relationships but after meeting and falling in love with his girlfriend Violet online he flew to Vietnam to give love another chance. But it hasn't been smooth for him in the two years since they started talking and Riley's concerns have led him to look into hiring a private investigator to determine if he can really trust Violet. So yeah, we'll have to see on next episode if these two stand a chance. So we have Gino from Michigan and Jasmine from Panama. I don't know what it is, but these two really do make me laugh. Jasmine, she reminds me of Larissa. I don't know what it is, but she really does. These two have been together for two years since they've engaged and waiting on the approval on Jasmine's visa. They are in love, but their relationship is on emotional roller coaster and things have been rocky between these two. Gino keeps promising Jasmine's visa will come through any day now, but she is growing impatient and forces Gino to rent her a luxury apartment in Panama for the next month while she waits. Jasmine's expensive habits leave Gino and his family wondering if she's only after for his money. Jasmine's expensive habits leave Gino and his family wondering if she's only after his money. They have been struggling with communication and trust and problems in the bedroom. So let's hope they sort these big issues before they get married. So up next, David from Nebraska and Sheila from the Philippines. These two are so sweet, especially David. He is a kind-hearted, hard-worker man who was born completely deaf. He's been looking for love and companionship in his entire life, but connecting with people in the hearing world can be a struggle. His last relationship ended badly when he found out he was been cheated on, but thankfully he didn't give up on love because two years ago, he met Sheila online. They've been talking every day for the last two years, but mostly through text. Sheila knows very limited sign language but let's hope both culture and communication goes smoothly. So we have Tari from California and Carmela from Barbados. Poor Tyree, he is a generous, big-hearted man. They have been talking four years ago when he met the love of his life, Carmilla, on a date and a It's been really sad that Tyree was left speechless when the producer shared that they learned Carmilla was lying about her identity when they called the number Tyree provided for them. Once they got in touch with the person, they learned that a man had been pretending to be Carmilla. Like, that is just so crazy. Why would you want to do that? So these are my favorite cast members up to now i have been enjoying it so far i love the show let me know in the comments down below who are your favorites and i would love to know your views if you like this video please like share and subscribe and stay tuned for more bye guys